today we are going to be breaking a brick wall with bullet dynamics so let's quickly get into it so I'm gonna start off by taking a cube and we'll start off by modeling our brick wall so this is my basic cube I'm gonna quickly scale this down to look like a size of a brick to maybe something right about here and uh, in the front view again we'll go somewhere about here control D move this somewhere around here and shift D and keep hitting shift D it's just going to be creating some more duplicates and again control D and move this up so I've hit control D and I'm gonna move this up to right about here once you're done with this we are just going to be shifting this I'm gonna turn this on we're just going to be shifting this somewhere about here just to create that uh, pattern of brick wall so I'm gonna quickly select this cube right click vertex and just quickly manage this so yeah it's in the same line there you go and let's do the same with this let's hit ctrl d move this somewhere about here and vertex move this to about here all right there you go so this looks pretty good now we just have to select all of this ctrl d and again zoom in move this up and shift d shift d shift d all right so there you go so this is our overall brick wall this is just a simple poly modeling i don't think uh, anyone's going to have some trouble with this type of modeling or anything so there you go so i'm going to just center this out uh center in front of the overall grid and now we are good to go all right so this is the overall uh, brick wall that we have created and in the last video as we saw let's quickly switch to fx menu what we can do with a rigid set so instead of creating a bullet dynamics for each and every cube what we are going to be creating is a group of that active rigid body so i'm going to click on rigid set and here by default it says cube because in the rigid set i have named it cubes you can change it if you want and there you go all right so here you'll notice that even though i've applied my bullet dynamics the rigid set from the outliner and uh, this is bullet solver and this is my overall cube you'll notice that this is not our cube this is not exactly how it's supposed to look right you can see the whole triangulated ge geometry and the reason uh, what we messed up was not clearing out the history so what we have to do since we have done some kind of modeling and some kind of uh, changes with the vertices and everything we have to reset the whole thing again so either you can go to bullet and you can remove bullet from selection or you can you'll notice that the bullet is gone uh, sorry select this remove bullet or you can simply delete entire system of bullet and there you go and that will solve the whole thing so once you're done with this uh, you'll notice if i select any cube and uh, there you go that we have shifted them in translate x y and we have changed the overall scale and with each and every cube you'll notice that there are some kind of changes with the overall axis so what we are going to be doing is select all of them and simply delete the history first freeze transform so that will just zero the whole thing out and you can center pivot them if you want once you're done with this as you can see all the cubes are center pivot and completely reset now you can select the whole thing go to bullet rigid set and now you'll notice that it's not acting anything weird if I play this we have nice brick wall so whenever you're doing uh, anything with the bullet and your cubes are not exactly or whatever your polygon is not looking exactly how it's supposed to look then you can change the whole thing so once you're done with this I'm going to go into the bullet solver and select the ground plane but this will have a nice plane for our scene we don't have actually have to take another for our scene so there's that so once you're done with this uh, let's move on so the first thing that you'll see is uh, with the bullet solver we'll go to the cube initial state rigid attributes initial condition that this is acting up instantly which we do not want so what we want instead is it should be initially sleeping so even if i play this you'll notice that it although it is moving in some areas and uh, if you go back to the bullet solver and if i change this to something like maybe a 240 hertz we'll see how that goes and we can see some changes with the overall dynamics i'm just gonna move this all the cubes down sorry let me just 
select the whole thing. Yeah. So if I go back and play this, you'll notice that we can see some kind of dynamics here. And since we are using the rigid set, we can go for uh, GPU acceleration. And if I play this again, I can see some minor changes. I'm gonna change uh, with the overall internal frame, fixed frame rates, just to see how this rolls up. Uh, I'm gonna go with 240 since it will give the most accurate results. So I'm gonna go back here, initially sleeping and now it's staying as it is so now the brick wall is going to be initially sleeping and by initially sleeping what does it mean it means un unless and until another object collides with this object it won't activate its uh, dynamic properties so it will remain as it is as a static object so what i can do from here is take a simple sphere i can go back here and with this I can go to bullet active rigid body and let's open up the settings here and I'm gonna choose kinematic rigid body and the reason is because we are going to be doing some manual keyframing and uh, the collider shape is sphere we are not using any cube we are using sphere and apply and close so there you go and uh, here you'll notice that even though we have applied a sphere it is acting up this kind of thing I don't think it's going to be an issue but yeah so if I zero this out, yeah, there you go. So I'm gonna play this to about 20 frames and I'm gonna hit S to auto key everything and you'll notice that we have uh, keyed this. And with 50 frame, it will go something like this and hit S again. So from here, if I go back, play this, yeah, there you go. So we have nice dynamic brick wall going on and you'll notice that we have something like this. So this is pretty interesting. I'm gonna just lower this down to somewhere about 60. Uh, let's make it 80. And yeah, there you go. All right, let's make it maybe 120. All right, so once you're done with this, there are a lot of things from here that you can do on your own. Maybe like go for something like we change something with the cube initial state. This is the overall brick wall, and uh, maybe you can change the mass to maybe like something like 50, and maybe angular linear damping to maybe like 0.6 and 6. So, 6. And let's maybe add some more friction here 0.8. And if you go back and play this, all right, so now you'll notice that the brick wall is acting a bit more heavier than before, and again, you can. Uh, increase some more value with this. Let's make it 80. Right, so there you go. So this is what you can do with this type of uh, parameters. You have fun with this. Uh, this is a pretty interesting effect. You can use glue shape, which we'll get into in future videos. But yeah, there are a lot of different things that you can do with this. You have a nice brick wall falling apart. So have fun with this, create an amazing animation with this and that's it for this one, I'll see you in the next video.